I passed the final. Welcome everybody. Uh, this has been a long time coming. We have a tutorial on how to set up Track IR and Logitech G29 steering wheel shifter and pedals. Uh, this has been uh, something I've been wanting to do on Bus Simulator 21 uh, for the longest time. The game has uh, released a few days back, so uh, hopefully this is going to get out to you and uh, you'll be able to adjust your steering wheel according to mine or uh, probably get the same settings almost the same settings I as I do the front door. Uh, these are my preferred settings for the steering wheel and uh, I use the shifter as well so the shifter uh, because we have automatic buses uh, only has two speeds so drive would be up and neutral and reverse are back here you can actually see and I go to drive and that's how I use this. So shifting upwards twice goes into drive. Uh, shifting once goes into neutral. Shifting down I twice can't. goes into reverse. Uh, how did I set that up? Let's go into the menu real quick and go to the steering wheel. We go to driving and steering. And as you can see here, we have button 14 and 15 flashing. And those are the gear up, gear down settings. Uh, my the horn is on button 23. At the planetarium. It's so informative. Toggle cashier view is on the uh, one button. Hello. Oh, sorry, the Hello. three button. That's the triangle button on the steering wheel. Uh -huh. The bus stop brake, I have it set to square. And some other things I have set to square is uh, kneeling. If we go to bus functions, as you can see, I have that set to square as well. All my doors open with one as well. That's square button. My ramp opens up with uh, button 24. That's Look at down all here. The garbage along That's the, the last side. button Why can't of the three. Their own trash? key buttons on the uh, steering wheel windshield washer uh, windshield wiper toggle I think that's 19 no USB hat down okay that's this one here so it's the uh, d-pad left and right up and down so down would be wipers then we have onboard which is right People on the uh, D-pad. That means he gets up off his seat. Driving, of course, accelerate. I have the uh, gas pedal on the right. The brake is, is the middle is uh, pedal. And clutch doesn't work in this game, so uh, you can't drive manually unless they bring out a uh, modded bus I'd that really works like with uh, five-speed transmission. And cafe in the town center. Um, what else? Center camera is my USB button 8. Let me find it. Hold on. Give me a second. It's so guys. nice it's still... to go by bus. Just at yesterday, seven, I went by bus six. to have coffee with a friend. We also had a piece of cake together. That's eight. Okay. I'm telling so it's you, the top that cake was delicious. Of the set of three. Margaret that said centers it's all my to camera. do with getting the right temperature for the chocolate. But okay. I've baked enough cakes in my and life to know bus that stop break, I also have that eggs. set to the square button, the eggs, the better the cake. which the opens the doors and kneels the bus listening? as well. Uh, toggle cashier view, we said it's triangle. Well, that's for driving and steering. Now, general controls. Interact is button zero. That would be zero... Uh, X on the steering wheel. 
Open map menu, that would be button nine. That's the middle mouse, that's the middle of the three buttons. That opens up my menu. I do use the menu a lot. The menu to set routes, I was uh, to, farm. to change from bus nice. to bus on I'm the fly. City person. Now, cashier left, cashier right, cashier up, and cashier down are all done with a D-pad. So uh, button is zero is hard. cash accept. And, sorry, button X is uh, cashier accept. Cashier back is the circle. To go everywhere on foot. Nowadays, I rather take the bus. Okay. Ramp is we said twenty four. That's down here. So we checked all these. Let's go to lights. So lights, I have everything set on right toggle. That's twenty one. Right toggle of the red button right here. I flick it to the right, and all my my cockpit cockpit light my passenger lights my headlights they all turn on using that button towards the left i have whether it's going to be a high beam or a low beam when i go left uh, my turn signals are here it's l2 and r3 uh sorry l l3 and r3 so that's 10 and 11 on the on the uh, in the game, and then we have oh my gosh, what is that sound? Warning lights. Does anyone else is, hear that? That's the minus sign down here. Again, this one is wipers. The new Italian restaurant has the <clears> best. <throat> sorry, wipers is down here. Uh, this one is. Let me see what this one is. What do I have? Number 19. I overslept again yesterday. No, she was not Let's at all pleased. Me. Where's 19? Okay, bye. Doesn't look like I have 19 set to anything. Mm -hmm. They had to rescue a Big guy look, from the double check because he was walking in sandals. Okay, so we could set 19 to uh, action menu. That would bring up the uh, the circle, which is very important. Action menu. Yes, Add new I have an interview at Bachowski Industries. Oh, for it's not a taking it. Job. Okay. Oh, I took that one. Okay, so we can zoom if we want. Let's try that. All right. Oh, we do both. Oh, cool. All right, so we'll take zoom off then. Let's see if the uh, Schrodinger is such a cute cat. What is it? View modes. Uh, it's general functions, I think. No. Steering. Where was it? Advanced settings. No, that's not it. New modes. Here we go. Okay, I so we'll take this off. On my new house in Remove. It was worth it. Try that. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that toggle toggles the cycle wheel. That's the uh, plus sign. Uh, minus is warning lights. Let's just go through them now. The map, middle middle button. That's the ramp. Cool. That's the cashier. Again, you cycle through with the D-pad. Go back with a, with the circle. 
uh, toggle doors kneeling and parking brake all done All done with the square button. We had to make it ourselves. We got first person toggle to third person toggle. That's the L2 button. I forgot to show you that. Right? Okay. There's one evil and then action camera that's is the R2 button. Cookies. We've got wipers on the down D but D pad, turn them on or off. Okay, they should turn off. And rear view, rear view mirror. That's the, the up and and button on the so D pad. That I way you can visiting. check out what your customers, what your passengers are doing. If someone's playing loud music, you can just flick that. Use your mouse so to point adorable. at him, and he'll stop they playing music. When they visit. And then getting up off the bus is the right button on the D-pad. Oh, look at that! Is that beautiful? You can walk around, get back on the bus by clicking the left mouse button. So we hardly ever use the keyboard. I have everything set on the steering wheel. Let's just quickly take a ride here. using all these functions. So I can show you guys what is happening. So we'll just take off the parking brake using the keyboard just for now because we have everything set to work together. So we got the cockpit lights, passenger lights, and uh, toggling cashier all on the same button. That's the right button here. If I flick on it, everything just shuts off. I turn it on again. There we go. I have cashier light working with uh, the doors and kneeling. That way, when the doors open, the cashier light goes on as well. Track IR, how to set up track IR, and I'll show you the mirrors as well. Really can't so we press escape, we go to settings, I shouldn't have stopped watching. Uh, UI, and we go down here to Toby track IR, enable track IR, that's enabled. You want to see if you have a Toby eye tracking system, you can enable that one, disable this one. Then user interface. I have the left UI mirror and right UI mirror showing only when I'm in third person perspective. So if I back out and I press L2, my mirrors show up <coughs> on the top left and top right. When I'm in first person view, they disappear because I'm using the rear uh, the real bus mirrors. What should I get to eat now? Fast food? Junk food? I think I'll try some street food. Said, this is the uh, simplest method to keep Stand everything up, on man, the steering wheel. The These are my favorite settings. I like the way it's set up. Uh, it's relaxing. Everything's right on the wheel. I Occasionally, the I will have to toggle they always come right the, uh, after a cliff. The cashier light or kneeling the bus as they uh, desynchronize. But aside from that, everything just works beautifully. As for the uh, inverted or sensitivities of the steering wheel, the gas pedal and the brake pedal, I didn't touch those at all. At all they are on default and uh, guys I know that uh, still life studios is hard at work at providing uh, a new update for steering wheels for Thrustmaster anybody has any issues with their steering wheel at all 
There is a link in the Steam discussion page where you can actually uh, mention your problem, state your problem. Uh, this is a new link provided by Still Life Studios and uh, Astrogon. So jump into the Steam discussion page. I will have the link provided below. Uh, go check, do go check it out. And if you have any issues, whether you're playing on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, uh, PC, Xbox, whatever you're using, uh, just hit them up and let them know what your issues are and they'll quickly uh, fix the problem. Thankfully the passengers, or the pedestrians are not crossing over. That is cool. I haven't hit anybody yet. All right, we are 17 minutes late, but that's not the point of this the video. video. This video is strictly for uh, how we have everything set up on the steering wheel. Uh, before this uh, release of the game, uh, some things weren't working for me, so I actually placed my Xbox controller. I taped it onto the steering wheel, and I was using the Xbox controller. But ever since uh, release date, Still Live Studios has fixed a lot of issues with the steering wheel and the G29 for me works 100% works perfectly I like the settings I have I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys I'm just gonna do a few stops just to show you uh, actually this is the wrong of course to be on let me choose a very busier Oh, I'm almost smashed there. Let me stop the bus. And sorry, I was going to go on the keyboard. I'm not. I'm going to press the middle mouse button and select a new route. Oh, Something nice with a lot more stops. So let's go in here. Select this route. Fast travel. Okay. We're in the bus. All right, much better. Are we ready to go? Don't forget about signaling. Yes, I didn't. Oh, shifting. Okay, so we got to get shift up. Sometimes uh, the little bug that loses the shifting level, so you have to shift up twice to put it into drive. That's okay. You could also, if you want, have the option to use your... Uh, your paddles for shifting up or down that's up to you it's a matter of preference if you like using the paddles behind the steering wheel again it's all about how comfortable you feel if you don't have a shifter you can always use the, the paddles in the back signal the R3 button we pull in action camera look at that perfect stop let's open all doors turn off our turn signals close all all bus doors to toggle kneeling okay, let's get into the external camera let's see how the bus gets back into place when we press the button. Kneeling goes up, all doors close, cashier light turns off. Alright, we'll try and do a few more stops. Up arrow on the D-pad. Tells you what's going on behind you in the bus. Very cool. Come on, pedestrians. Get the traffic moving. Very, very busy. Here we go. Track IR works perfectly as well. Everything's working nicely. Get ourselves on the uh, bus route. Oh, I keep pressing that button. Still have to get used to it, though. I took a wrong turn, that's why. Alright, so... Uh, 
think. Get on this route. Again, click on the route. There we go. I was clicking on the bus stop by mistake. Okay, so we'll do the Alexander Dennis. And the route is started. There we go. Come on, buddy. Yeah, it's a bad habit. I keep reaching for the escape button on the keyboard, even though I have it all set in the middle button right here. Yeah, that bug keeps popping up every time you change your route or fast travel. You always have to flick into the uh, into the gear. Turn radius on the double decker is not that great. You see how relaxing everything is when you have all your controls on the steering wheel, not having to uh, keep bending over to reach a button. That sucks. Another button I haven't set is the speed limiter. I haven't set that on the steering wheel either. That's the Z button on the keyboard. That'll keep you from uh, over speeding. All right. Turn signal on, approaching the bus stop. We break, action camera, nice. Square button. Perfect timing, perfect I think stop you're position. Blocking the door. Someone's blocking the door. Right on the D-pad. Get us off the bus seat. I haven't tried the rear view mirror to see if I can get him to move from there. Signal on. That was it. We're ready to go. So guys, let me know in the chat what you think of this tutorial, this little, uh... showcase of how to use your G29, how to set up your G29 to work for you. Let me know what buttons you've changed, what you've configured, if you feel that it's uh, better. But like I said before, there are hey, a lot of things you can do. Should we go to the movies tonight? I'll look up what's on and call you back. According yep, to your okay, preferences. Bye. This is Jimmy Dali signing out. Hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget, share, like, favorite, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.